The movie studio is coming to Loris. It's a project that the studio owner and the city have been keeping under wraps for a while, but now it's stepping into the spotlight. ABC 15's Joel Vasquez caught up with the studio owner as they continue to work on the building. He joins us now live in studio. Andrew, that's right. Jerry Dalton has been working in the movie industry for more than 20 years. He says it's been a long road to get here, but he's excited to get Loris on the big screen. What may look like bare walls, wood piles, and clutter right now will soon be the gem of downtown Loris where movies come to life. And I think it's a great way for others to see the world through different spectrums and, and visions and different perspectives. And to have that escape is a wonderful thing and we wanted to help create that escape. Jerry Dalton, the president and founder of Dalton Studios, bought his first building for the studio in 2007. His studio now encompasses four different buildings, including this one that used to be an auto store. Now him and his crews are rolling up their sleeves to clean them up. From the ground up, we took the concrete out, went down four foot, put all new infrastructure under the ground, plumbing, wiring, communication cables, everything that need, is needed for a studio. He tells me that Loris has the potential to be a great setting for films. And so you're far enough away from the coast where the effects of a hurricane is a little less threatening. The, the, the architecture is perfect. You can film anywhere from the 1940s through modern day. The words courage, focus, and persistence hang in the studio. Jerry says that this was his motto he lived by to make his dreams come true, and he's hoping others will do the same. Never give up on that dream of what you want to do. Because if you give up, you're kind of giving up on life. And Jerry's hoping to have the studio open by the end of 2023 or early 2024. He tells me that when they open, they're going to hold tours for the public so they can see how movies are made and maybe just even be in one. Andrew? Joel, thank you. Now, Jerry is also the director of the Myrtle Beach International Film Festival. That will be happening April 18th to the 22nd. You can get more information over on WPDE.com. Just look for Joel's story. Well, from digital art to colored pencil drawings and acrylic painting, one local man has had a lifelong love of art. After settling into the mountains of western North Carolina, Louis Lachusa has found a spiritual connection to a new medium wood. We meet him in Laurel Park for this week's Uniquely WNC. It started with a damaging ice storm. Trees were falling all over the place. So I went down and bought my first chainsaw. I love the power of the chainsaw. I love what it could do. As he helped clean up down trees over the next few months, he remembered videos he'd seen of artists carving bears on YouTube. He had plenty of stumps to experiment with, so he gave it a try. My first couple were up on the road there. I still had a stump left and I cut one up and it ended up looking like Elf. Remember that character? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, well, wasn't quite a bear and I was getting ready. I was going to just chop it down, you know, and then the next thing I know I had uh, neighbors hanging little medals on him. So I thought, well, if they like them, I'll just keep going. And so that was kind of the inspiration. Another inspiration for Louis, the vibrations he feels up in these mountains. The energy that's up here on uh, by Jump Off Rock is just fabulous. He's in his driveway carving almost every day. The neighbors walk down the jump off loop and comment on his new creations. Each piece of log, I kind of look at it and it kind of tells me, okay, this one, I'm going to be a bear. The next one, it could be an eagle. The wood kind of talks to me and it allows me to just connect with, that's what I call the spirit of the wood. And then I just chip off what, what it's telling me. Whatever he carves, when he's finished. I call it a good spirits because it, it's bringing out the good spirits and I hope to share that with people and they can feel that same vibration. The WLOS Sports Department has a new teammate. He started this week. He will be making his debut tomorrow. His name is Marvin Parker Jr. and Sports Director Chris Womack sat down with him at McCormick Field to introduce you to our new weekend sports anchor. Starting tomorrow, you're going to see a new face with the WLOS Sports Department. That is this guy right next to me, Marvin Parker Jr. First off, welcome to the mountains. Welcome Appreciate to it. Asheville. Uh, tell us a little bit about where you're coming from. I'm coming from the Delta of Mississippi at the Delta News. I did two years there in the same capacity here. Weekend sports anchor reporter. Did a lot, had a lot of coverage um, starting out there. But weirdly enough, 
you've always had this kind of connection in North Carolina. I have. I, you know, I wasn't I wasn't born here, but as I was, I think three or four years old as a toddler, I don't know. But I lived in Greensboro for a year before moving to Texas, and then I graduated from UNC Charlotte. That was my two stints here, and this is my third. Yeah. So when you were in Texas, you also played. 5A football and there's this yeah. kind of mystique for a lot yeah. of people around Texas it's high real. school football. Tell it's me real. what was it like to live that? When you're growing up in it you don't realize how big of a situation it is because you're playing schools that have the same resources and facilities and coaches and recruiters right you know like um, spring ball was just it was like a movie coaches just lined up and you kind of took it for granted almost it was kind of like the that's not the military right but if you're ever 16 17 years old it feels like it those two days are real so did you play any other sports growing up or was football kind of your, your bag football was my bag after speed skating uh, i was an avid speed skater excellent well we're going full throttle you'll see marvin first reporting from chapel hill tomorrow covering the unc yeah. clemson game and then if you want to see him on the anchor desk sunday is the day, Marvin. Super Bowl uh, Sunday, Super man. Bowl Sunday. They even had a game for oh, your debut. Oh, there we go. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs>